Paul is a common factor in sexual assault, especially when it comes to things like date rape. A group of college students invented a way to, for women to help protect themselves. And as ABC6 News reporter Jenna Losey tells us, it doubles as a fashion statement. Going out for a few drinks with friends often takes a little bit of primpy. Like, get all dressed up. You can do like a fun like nail polish if you want to match your clothes. But what if I tell you that manicure could double as protection against date rape drugs? Is this something you've ever heard of before? No, I've actually never heard of it. That's awesome. I would definitely use that. A group of North Carolina State University students use their chemistry background to invent undercover nails. Polish that looks like what you'd buy in any store, but goes well beyond pretty nails. The nail polish changes color when it's exposed to date rape drugs. So a woman wearing it can stir her drink and the polish will alert her that it's been spiked. I'll buy it. I mean, you have um, a consumer right here. I will buy one to see if it works. I would like that it, you wouldn't have to make a big deal out of it. It would be discreet. You could just stir your drink. No one would have to know. The inventors were inspired by a national survey that found that an estimated 18% of American women will be sexually assaulted in their lifetime. Local law enforcement likes the idea of another preventative measure. We are excited uh, potentially about something else that might be available to assist people to know if their drink has been tampered with. We also think it's really important to pay attention uh, when you're out there uh, to know uh, who uh, that you're with and then uh, where your drink uh, potentially is as well. Yeah, ultimately it's great for women to sort of take charge of um, themselves and I think it's a great idea. The Polish won this year's North Carolina State University's competition for student projects aimed at solving real-world problems. Of course, it's still in its early stages, so the undercover color team is accepting donations for research and development. Reporting in the Rochester Newsroom, Jenna Losey, ABC 6 News.